be a late night Saturday, uh, having a little fun here. Who knows what we got going on, but you guys know what we have going on. We're doing a little late night knife chat, see what's happening. Big Red's getting ready for a big trip, so SKL was a little early today. He's going to be traveling tomorrow, so I was like, I wonder if anybody's up. I wonder if anybody's out ready to hang, ready to hang out. Let me get my messages dialed in here. I think these messages need to be a little different. We'll move this up a little, just a tad. Move these knives out a little bit. See if that works. We got a lot of space out here, so we'll put these out. Maybe we got some more knives to show. A couple buttes. We got T Fetch here. We got Stevo here. Member of the Zach's Daily Carry Crew. We got Addicted to Blades 2, also a member. T Fetch, Stevo, My Journey, a member of the crew. Pocket Razors, Master Moderator, and Platinum Crew member. What is up? What is up? We also have. Louie's here. What's up, Louie? We got a gold class crew member, Rob Ten Ring in the house. What is up, Rob? Fortnite. Nice, nice. I love it. That's awesome. Rado Outdoors is here. Putnam crew member and master moderator. What's up, Rado? Good to see you. Tommy Boy is in the house. What's up, Tommy Boy? Do you ever get the jokes of not here or here so much, but right about here? Little Tommy Boy reference. Knives or Life is here. Homer Feltus as well. And Bojo, all members of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Thanks for being here. Mr. McKenzie's here. What is up? Colby Venables here. And Slim Tissue, member of the crew. What is up, Slim Tissue? Ed Harrison's here. Gold Class Crew member. What's up, Ed? NFK 20's in the house. Member of the crew. YD Knives is here. Tommy Boy says, oh, yeah. I always get those references. <laughs> nice, nice. Love it. Well, I just want to jump on, do a little knife chat, maybe see if anybody's got some questions. Maybe we'll break out the, uh, oh, how do you want to say, the Bushcrafters. Take a look at those. They come in a, a very small box, as some of, some of you have seen. Penny's here. What's up, Penny? Good to see you, Penny. Thank you guys for being here, Penny. That is awesome. NFK20 member for five months says, aye. <laughs> Eggs and Ham jumping in. Platinum crew member, Master Monitor for 39 months says, I'm barely awake, but headed to bed. Got to be up in 5.5 hours. Eggs, thank you so much for jumping on, saying hi. Appreciate it. It was good to chat with you the other day, too. Sounds like work's going a little bit better for you. So that was awesome, man. We'll get some rest. I can definitely get some rest. <laughs> Colby Venable, thank you for being here. Todd Carr, Gold Class crew members here. Thank you so much, you guys, for being here. That was awesome. Yeah, what about the blacked out narrows? That that's here, that's here. I want to save a couple things maybe for tomorrow. You know, encourage some people to come back tomorrow. Uh, we might do a sneak peek of that one though, since some of you might not be able to make it tomorrow, but might be able to make it today. What a ride! Late night party says my journey. Member for one month. <laughs> Eggs and ham says having more days off than working is amazing. LOL. I like that. I like that. B for parents here. Platinum crew member says woohoo. Top Dog, Gold Class crew members here. What is happening? YD Knives. I really like the Neros, but my God, the price. Yes, that is definitely the thing. Now, this one was $580 originally. This is the uh, original titanium with the blue accents. Got to love that. Um, and, of course, bam, they came out with the all-black one. Beefer Baron, super Thank you so much, Beefer. <laughs> I love that. Thank you, Beefer, for the super chat. That is awesome. We put all that stuff into the channel. 100, 100%. Um, but yeah, we got, I'm trying to think where the black one is. I got to remember. Oh, it might be in the box. I think I, I put the, yeah, I put the, the custom Osborne and then the Narrows back in the box so I didn't uh, misplace them because I had a bunch of stuff out in the last few days t checking it out. And I want to get these big bad boys. Look at this. This is this is the the label for the mini bushcrafter, right? This is insane. Rolled over and saw the live, says Rory. Rory, remember the crew. Thanks for being here, Rory. I love it. Look at this. My journey says, Zach, I need a bug out. 
Look how big this is. Look how big this Bushcrafter box is. It is ginormous. They made these special edition. I mean, here's the comparison. Here's comparison. Here's the here's the custom Osborne. Now I get it. The mini Bushcrafter is a little bit bigger, but look at that. Look at that difference. Size matters. Size, size matters. Jay Korskinen's here. Member of the crew. What's up, Jay? Says, yawn. Who woke me? Who woke me? Who woke me? Pocket Razor says, bounce on that like button, everyone. Please. Cool. Member of the crew, platinum crew member and master moderator. Thank you for the super chat. And yeah, hit that like button. We'll have some fun tonight. And you never know what'll happen. <laughs> Louis here says, that's what I say. <laughs> Size matters. But yeah, I mean, look at that comparison. That is just insane. And honestly, like, we'll give you a sneak peek and then we'll open up in a minute. Look how much space is not used in that box. <laughs> it's like, hello. <laughs> so we'll get into that here in a little bit after we check out these knives for sure. And we'll answer some questions. We'll have some fun with it. Mark Herrera is here. What's up, Mark? Be shady. Member of the crew is here. Says brother Zach and fam. Mark Herrera says caress the thumbs up, y'all. Ed's here. What's up, Ed? Kathleen Smith as well. Chris Holes in the house. What's up, Chris? How are you? Paul Mills is here. What's up, Joe Isabella? Member of the crew is here. Josh Worth, platinum crew member. Daylight saving time kicking in. See you in six months. Oh, Josh. Oh, man, that's a rough one. I know. That's a rough one. But good to see you. Good to see you. I love it. I love it. All right. So we're going to crack this open. Now I will say just a little precursor. One of the boxes I opened this last week, I think it brought in, and I don't know if it was because of some food stuff that was in it and where it was shipped from, but there was a few ants that got in. So I got some of these like little sugar ant looking things and they've been like creeping around in the office. So I've been on ant patrol. Um, I have one of those little traps. So if you see any of them driving around, cruising around during the live stream, they might come out and say hi. We never know. So we're working on that. We got a lot of stuff cleaned up today, which was awesome. Myself, Mrs. Zach did a whole bunch of work, which is crazy. But we're going to pop one of these open. A little liquid death, the severed lime. A little sparkling water. Baby girls in the house. Grizzly Bear Gaming's here as well. Bushcraft rebooted. How are you? How are you? Joe Isabella, member of the crew, of course. We talked about that. YD Knives says, just found Zach's channel this morning. All the boys said you were the go-to for Benchmade stuff. They were right. We got a couple Benchmades here. You know, if you got some questions, put them in the chat. We'll answer some questions tonight. Try to do a little bit more in the in the chat, you know. Drink water's here. Remember the crew? Let me get it. That's here. Remember the crew as well. Thank you for being here. El Cap Attic, what's up? Drink water. Steve-O says, did anyone catch Kevin Casey earlier? So funny. I did not. I did not. Uh, we're out having dinner, running some errands. West Coast time. And so we missed some of those lives and it's hard now. I don't even know who's live when, you know, because people, there's the Scott does an awesome job. Scott in my knife journey, much love, respect does a wonderful job with all the calendar, but then people just go live whenever now. So it's like, all right, we'll just schedule it. Seems logical is here. What's up, Javon? What's up, man? Matt, apologies. Not know you were live. Zach stuff. I will resume. Like, Oh, okay. Oh, you were going live too. Oh man. Javon, thank you so much, man. Platinum crew member. Oh, dude. Okay, well, I'll keep, I'll keep this one short then. That's a little shout out for Javon. If you don't follow him, go click on his channel. Check out Javon's Knife Flicks. He's also a great, fun time to go in the live. Getting some definitely squirrel conversations all over the place. Double D tents here. Remember the crew? What is happening? Oh, I love that. I love that. Yeah, sorry about that. I didn't even realize that you were going live as well. We all kind of just saw the time opening. And we're like, hey, let's do that. You know, it's all fun and games. It's all the fun times. <laughs> right, yeah, Top Dog's here. What's up, Top Dog? Gold Class Crew member, thank you for being here. Top Dog. Top Dog's in the house. JR Miz is here. Platinum Crew member for 30 months. Says, howdy, JB. I mean, Zach and all DSKFS. <laughs> Humphrey Chimpton's member of the crew says, I no longer watch vertical format streams. Those are hard to follow. I try to keep it horizontal. That's what we got going on here. Now, 
DSKFS. It's the hashtag. Do something kind for someone if you're new here. If you're not new here, you know what's up. You know how we do it. But on the table, the Hogue Misto, Magna Cut, Titanium. Uh, the Benchmade Narrows, the original one. M390, Titanium. And this is a custom one with the S30V blade. And uh, the handles, the titanium handles from the Benchmade custom knife building shop. And then that beautiful, beautiful dark graphite titanium finished pocket clip, the milled pocket clip from Rock Scale Designs. And if you want to order anything from Rock Scale, man, R S D Z E D C. Um, I'll put it here in the chat. But you can go over to rockscaledesigns.com. Use that right there. Get you 10% off, which is awesome. What's up, Cheetos in the house? Cheeto Montana. Member of the crew. How are you? Thanks for being here as well. Yeah. Okay, okay. You don't sleep, Juan. Oh, well, I'll join in on yours as soon as I'm done here. That'll be awesome. We'll just send everybody over. So maybe let's say right around uh, the hour. So it'll be, you know, 50 minutes from now. We'll just kick over to your channel. That'd be awesome, man. We'll just send everybody over within the hour. So I'll make sure I'm wrapped up by then and we'll just holler over to your place. I like it. Like it. Just send the party over to John's. I love it, man. Oh, man, that's awesome. Uh, let's see who else we got jumping in here. We got Sharp Guy ATX, Gold Class Crew Member. What is up? What is up? I love that. JB's missing out. Yeah, he might jump in. He's He probably went to bed early. He's packing those kind of things, you know. Caleb Hale is here. What's happening? Thanks for being here. So you never know if he'll jump in. You know how that is. You know, JB doesn't want to miss out a little bit. I didn't want to text him in case he was sleeping already. Mark Grant's here. What's up? But he's a he's a night owl because of work. You know, he works the uh, the afternoon, evening shifts. So Kyle Coonley's here. What's up, man? Good evening, weirdos, he says. Neil McKenzie, member of the crew, saying hi to Todd. I love it. Rob's Nerdy Knives is here. What's up, man? How's the DLC Narrows? It's good. It's good. Uh, I have it. We're going to show it here in a minute. I want to show off these titanium ones. We'll probably bring out the other one as well. Um, was kind of saving it for tomorrow, but definitely some things on that one. I mean, price is the biggest thing with the Narrows, no matter what. I mean, we, we talk about that, definitely. It's thin. It's dark. It's kind of crazy what they did with the polishing the blade ahead of time before they DLC coated it. So it kind of gave it that like oily finish. Viking Venom's here. What's up, man? I work at the worst place. I work at an airport and I love my knives. Oh, man, that's so hard. Do they let you have like a safety knife or something? Like, uh, could you get a triage with a blunt tip? You know, at least you can get something to cut with. Paper Tiger's in the house. Platinum crew member. What is up, Paper Tiger? Space Banana's here. What's up, Space Banana? Good morning from Switzerland. Shout out to Switzerland. Thank you, Space Banana. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Good to see you. That is awesome, man. Thanks for checking in. And definitely, if you got some questions, drop them in the chat. Pocket Razors, a Platinum Crew member and Master Moderator, gifting five memberships to Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Shout out to Pocket Razors. Hit them up in the chat. Shout out. <laughs> and don't forget, Pocket Razors, drop a link to your channel in there. Uh, he just kicked off. He's been here for years part of the community forever and he just kicked off his own channel and you guys were awesome to support him but if you haven't checked him out go check him out give him a follow look at his recent live stream he's usually doing thursday nights at 8 p.m pacific it's been fun so far uh so we got new memberships and we got some returning members caleb hale sharp guy oh no so kyle coonley was gifted a membership nice nice so was caleb hale ed was gifted a new membership crispy critter and Mad Hatter. So it looks like Kyle, I'm not sure if you've had a swag pack, a channel swag pack at all, but if not, send me an email. You're a new member. Ed as well. Ed, if you are here and you are a new member, thanks to Pocket Razors, and you want to get a swag pack from me, just a little channel swag pack from Zach, then uh, send me an email, zach.edc at gmail.com. It's in the description of this video as well, and we'll get it out to you because, you know, new members, we want to support. You rock the DSKFS, so it'll do something kind for someone. I love that. I love that. Uh, baby girl says, I like the blade, other middle knife, and the handle scales on the one on the right. That would be a nice knife with those two together. 
That would be kind of cool. That would be kind of cool for sure. Yeah, the Hogue, uh, the Hogue Misto. They make banana flavored moon pies. Oh, they do. I haven't, I haven't tasted one of those yet. But this is the Hogue Misto. Um, I still have that uh, Tonto coated blade. If you, anyone is interested in purchasing it, uh, making a smoking offer. But I haven't put it out to the regular channel. So if you're a, a, a viewer here or somebody that's in the Lurkers Lounge, shout out to the Lurkers Lounge. Uh, you know, send me an email. We can chat. But this one, I'm keeping this one. This is their AKA clip point <laughs> that they put on the box and the labels and their website. Uh, looks like a drop point to me, but I'm keeping this one out of the two. Can't keep them all. Can't get them all. But I bought the other one first at Blade Show West. That's the first one they came out with. And they didn't really mention. They're like, oh, we're working on some other models. But they didn't really give it away. And then here at, uh, I think it was Blade Texas. I think it was right before that. Or maybe it was SHOT Show that came out with it. And then at Blade Texas, they sold a bunch. So, And there's a link right there to Pocket Razors. Definitely check it out. Angelo's here. Remember the crew? What is up, Angelo? So awesome. So awesome. YD Knife says, drop those links, boys. I want to sub to anyone making the knife vids. There you go. There you go. Nice. I like that. Thank you. Todd Kingery is here. Alaska Todd. What's up, man? It says, whoop, whoop. Alaska Todd here. What's up, Zach? Nice, nice. Todd's a gold class crew member. He's also the one that did a blade swap with me on this one. So I got that little bit darker finish on this S90V blade that came off of his 940-1. And I gave him the more... Uh, you know, lighter satin washed. I don't know. They call it, you know, the big one, but it's how it is. Javon's knife flicks member for 31 months says platinum crew member. He is, I am in listening mode while multitasking, but love you all. <laughs> Jeremy Nedro is also here. Remember the crew. What is happening? Thank you for being here. Funland's here. What's up? Funland says JR Miz. Javon sent me here too. Didn't get an alert. Right on, right on. Well, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Hit that all on the notification bell. So when I do go live, it pops up and says, hey, Zach's live. Let's jump in and see what's happening over there. I like that. I like that. Oh, man. Benchmates are really nice. Thanks, Grizzly Bear Gaming. Yeah, they do some good work, but they are expensive. So that's one of the big things. Need 500, says my journey, so I can do a giveaway. There you go. There you go. Dwayne Letterman's here, a member of the crew. What is up, Dwayne? Thanks for being here. MHX, what is up? Thank you for being here. Can't buy them all. Still have to try, right? Yeah, it's so hard. It's so hard. Uh, Rob's Nerdy Knives says, Zach, I'm doing an Osborne and S90V and rock scale build with a twist. Coming out next week, your Osborne kept drawing me to the build. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, I want to see that, definitely. Yeah, let me know. I'll keep an eye out when you post that up. But if you're going to show it live, man, let me know. The, those Osborne builds are so awesome. They're so much fun, too. Definitely so much fun. All right, let's see what else we got here. Pocket Razors is here, of course. He gifted some memberships. He's our master moderator and platinum crew member. Says, member for 27 months. Thank you, top everyone. Probably to, to everyone in the community for all your kindness and support. Hashtag DSKFS. Thank you, Pocket Razors. Been fun on your channel already. <laughs> Superfly Micros. Hashtag Lurk Squad. Right on, Superfly. Well, thanks for being here in the Lurk Squad. I love it. In the Lurker's Lounge, the Lurk Squad. I like that. I like both those names. That's cool. Mine looks great, Zach. Super shiny and sharp. Right on, Todd. That was awesome, man. Thanks again for doing that blade swap. That was really cool. Gator Aaron's here. Gold class crew member. What's up, Gator? Gator got a cat. Right? Is that how it goes? <laughs> he probably hears that reference all the time, too. It's like, it's nothing new. It's nothing new. My alert didn't come through either. Javon was the alert. Oh, man. Well, thanks, Javon, for sending everybody over. And like I said, here about the hour, we'll send everybody back over. So a little less than 45 minutes. So if you got a comment, pop it in the chat. I'll get to it best I can. Definitely. So we're working on the chair. Uh, found out... Also, that um, the chair is going to run a few hundred bucks, um, obviously, over what I was expecting. But we're going all out on it, so that's good. And also, the uh, liner that sits on top of my carpet, it's all broke. So I went to move it, and it's just falling apart in pieces. So 
I was going to try to pick one up today, but we were a little late. Um, had a whole bunch of stuff to take to Goodwill as well after we had a little bit of uh, teriyaki and some cucumber salad and stuff. So that was pretty good. But I appreciate you letting me know, Kathleen, and thanks again, Javon. I like that. I like that. All right, let's see here. Brandon Sutton's here. What's up, Brandon? How are you? Welcome in. Uh, baby girl says, I've been collecting knives since last year. And my sister, Betty Davis, and her husband, Clarence. What's up, Betty and Clarence? Got you into it. About 12 knives from now. That's awesome. That's really cool. About one a month. That's perfect. That's so perfect. And then now you're at the point where you probably just like, what, what do I carry? You know, which one do I carry? Well, what do I carry? But that's cool. That's cool. Oh, uh, Justin Ornella. What's up, man? Going to listen while I fall asleep. I got called in for a 4 a.m. shift. Oh, Justin. Okay. Well, thanks for being here. We'll let you, the soothe sounds of Zach's stuff and the knife community will put you to rest while you get ready for your 4 a.m. shift. There you go. <laughs> All right, you're sleeping already. <laughs> we won't try to blow the air horn too loud. We don't want to wake you up. It's been a while. I may or may not have always. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. I love that. Everyday Minimalist did a vertical yesterday. Yuck, but he's a local. He's got an ADD crowd. Yeah, Rob. Dude, I like Brandon. Brandon's awesome, dude, over Everyday Minimalist. Those verticals, I don't, so I don't know what the deal is. So I, there's got to be a reason behind it. YouTube has been pushing it for a while now. And it's one of those weird things where they're pushing it hard. Like we're getting emails as, you know, content creators. We're getting messages. We're getting stuff popping up like, oh, try this. It's great. We'll also promote it on shorts for you you know, all this stuff. And it's like, and it doesn't matter if it's video, live, whatever. They're going to promote it on shorts, kind of cross promote it for you automatically. And that's really cool for a creator, but it's really hard if you're not set up content wise for that. And your, your I don't want to say crowd, your audience, people that are uh, absorbing your content, watching your content or rewatching it are watching it on an iPad, a computer, a laptop, their TV. It really makes it difficult to see things when you hold up a knife and you're like, Hey, here's this bench made narrows, you know, and you're all like this vertical and that's great, but it's, it's really been hard. So I pulled it up on my TV and watched some vertical content and it's really hard to see details close up. And I don't know if that's what you all are seeing as well, but that's what I've been seeing. Ron Dobbins is here. What's up, Ron? Yeah. So, and the only thing I can think of behind the scenes is maybe the vertical content is like less bandwidth. Does that make sense? Or a combination of less bandwidth and they're trying to compete with, you know, the talks and the grams and everything else that's vertical. So I'm thinking that's kind of what they're doing to try to stay relevant maybe. But I don't know. Mick Squirgles here. Got my spider code down to six folders. Native 5 Delica and Dura PM2 and the OG military. It really feels like they are best that spider code has off. They have a great solid lineup, Mick Squirgle. And I love your channel name. That is awesome. And your username. And you got a you got a good lineup there, definitely. Joseph S jumping in. It's a throne, and he just hasn't ordered his crown yet. There you go, there you go. Zach getting a Herman Miller, all bougie like. <laughs> yeah, we're trying, we're trying, Kyle, we're trying. Okay, sounds good, Javon. Right on, I appreciate that. We'll see where it leads. Jeremy Nedro's in the house. Member of the crew, what is up? Um, let's see here. Now, I did actually win something um, and have it being shipped to me from Pocket Razors on his live stream. He did a little giveaway. So I'm just going to say next Sunday, so a week from tomorrow, um, I will, I'm going to try to wait to open it. So I'm going to open it on the live stream and I'm just going to say, just be present. Just be present in that live stream. That's fun. Um Baby girl says, I carry my Civivi Hadros and the Kaiser Banish. That's cool. Have you looked at steel case chairs? Expensive, but so good. I have, Rob. I have. And that's one of the things I've been looking at. My biggest thing is I'm looking for like a uh, the bottom, the seat area, to be somewhat vented. Or uh, how do you say? Like a netting? A netted? A netting? Yeah. So that's kind of what I'm kind of hoping for. Um, so pocket razor says, Zach, those Savelt scales have gone to your voice. Yes, they definitely have. And I was trying to see if I have, I do have those Svelte scales right here. Let me show those real quick. 
If you haven't seen these, we took a bug out on one of the live streams. We got these Rogue Blade Works carbon fiber svelte scales. And just in comparison, standard bug out and then the svelte scales. So it changes the position of the barrel spacers a little bit, gets rid of the lanyard hole, kind of cuts that off, has a little bit different, you know, you can see the, the shape of the handle here. And then you can see what he's got going here for this. We use the Dash 08, you know, we did a group, group uh, vote. So that's good. No biggie buddy, good looking out though. Thanks, Beefer. The vertical format was annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, Stephen Clayton Jr.? How are you? How do you not do a vertical? Mine went to vertical automatically. I have no clue. Uh, so Bushcraft, they YouTube, they're pushing it so hard, it's a default setting. So when you go in to set up a live, let me see if I can do it on my pad. And I can show you real quick if that'll help. Um, I don't know if it'll let me set up a live while I'm doing another live. It might. <laughs> if it messes this one up, my apologies. But we're going to try. Okay. So when you have your basic content here, it talks about unlisted. You got to make it public. All that good stuff. And then advanced settings. Vertical is literally a default. So when you look at vertical right there, that's literally the default is vertical. So you have to change it to the horizontal and then go back. So that's the, that's the one key thing where it's like, you got to literally, they, they automatically do it. So if you don't go in and change it, you're stuck on vertical hundred percent and they change that. Oh, you get a little face of me in there. <laughs> that's all right. You're going to see my face really, really soon on someone's channel. So it's all good. I just wasn't wearing anything beautiful on my eyeballs or my hat or anything. So you just get the raw dog look right there. What's up, Double Detent? How are you? Welcome in, member of the crew. Thank you, Pocket Razors, for posting that up. I appreciate the links. The Benchmade products is there. Vertical is annoying, any device users, unless you don't bother to engage in the chat. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Good for the conversion, but not great for the video. Yep, exactly, Steve-O. No data rate change on vertical is really annoying and wasteful of data. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Todd. Take care of my baby, Zach. Yep, yep, we got it. Carry all of them, says Angelo. Good old spring projects got us busy. Nice, Gator, nice. Yeah, that was one of our things. And so it also changes the clip uh, orientation. So if you look at, you know, the standard bug out, it's just going to move it a little bit deeper in the pocket. Not too much, but just a little bit, you know. But these are really, really cool. Mass Factions in the house. Remember the crew? What is up? Gold Class crew member says, I'm up, I'm up. But yeah, so Rogue Blade Works did some really good work with this. They did a little uh, uh, pre-order, which, you know, Rogue's kind of known for on some of his projects where he's like, I don't know if I'm going to add these to the list, but he's got some really good ones. So we'll show those off on a separate video. I want to bring out a bunch of Rogue's work and kind of do a separate video on it because um, – He's got some new new knives coming out too. And he does have some stuff in stock. Um, I don't have a discount code. He doesn't offer any of that. But you can just go over to RogueBladeWorks.com and check it out. This is probably the wrong live to ask in. I know this is a pro Benchmade channel, but I should get a bug out. Is it worth it? Like really worth the cost? So I would recommend, hmm, if you're looking to get a bug out, obviously... You can you could buy a counterfeit. That's that's what people have done, but you're going to be disappointed, and only for the fact that the quality is not going to be there, your steel quality is not going to be there. I would recommend looking at some of your secondary websites. So, Blade Binge. Um, there's a really great Facebook page that I've been told for Benchmades. That's a good place to buy them. You know, there might be somebody in the chat here who will sell you one. Um, get them from a reputable person. Get it, get it from somebody on the secondary. So you can pick it up in that like $100 price range for a basic bug out. You're going to love it. And this one has some Glow Rhino upgrades, but the overall Grivery scales, it's super lightweight, super cutty, and it's going to be so useful for you. Um, and you can even carry this like in a shirt pocket. 
I mean, this is like 1.9 ounces. So it's going to be one of those things. You know what I mean? <laughs> Take care, Jeremy. Happy birthday to your dad. We got a birthday coming up tomorrow too. Yeah. Um, and yeah, there's some other ones out there as well. Um, you know, L, or I'm sorry, some tissues giving you some good ideas. The 535-3 or the 535-BK-4. And man, those aluminum scales on that 535-BK-4. Those aluminum scales, the starburst pattern, are awesome. And that's straight from the factory. So, Maddie gets past security. Yeah, he's he's good like that. Bam and Ninja EDC's in the house. What's up, man? The budget is in my top five of best EDC knife ever. Just my opinion. The bug out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the bug out's good. I mean, it, it's, it's bench made. All prices went up. And I know, like, you can still get some Kaisers and other stuff that are really good knives and they have an access style lock as well. They call it something different, but it's all crossbar lock. But I would say like, it's just one of those knives that like you can do so much with it. You know, if you, if you want to turn it in and get some custom scales, you can do that. If you want to get a lanyard plug, you can do that. If you want to get, you know, uh, a thumb stud with a glow, you know, a little tritium, uh, dot or what do they call those? A uh, vial in there you can do that as well and you know glow rhino makes a great product for that and i have a video on my channel if you're if you're still like interested and it's like do we break the bug out and i put it through some really good torture tests even throwing it off a building those kind of things that knife is still with me i gave it away and an awesome uh young man from minnesota won it and then he had it for a few months and then he's like man i had thor's hammer laser engraved on the on the on the blade, a big one. And I, I might even have it here. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. And he was like, you know, he's a, he's a high school kid at the time. And he's like, I chatted with his parents about it and everything. And he's like, man, can, oh yeah, here it is. Here it is. So this is, this is the one, this is the one that took the torture test. And I've kind of left it how it is, you know, got a little bit of markings on the blade, but it's got that big Thor's hammer. Um, I had to replace the pocket clip cause it got scratched up and stuff, but that's just because I didn't want to have it scratching on anybody's you know hand or pocket when they want it um overall it did have a little nick on the tip that came off from one of our pride tests um and taking some screws out of boards but overall um one quick little you know at the benchmade factory life sharp warranty and it's good to go so cold steel verdict's a good bug out substitute says humphrey and that's the thing you know uh, but this is like the og from that video and it survived um, they, they pulled it apart. They tested everything. This thing's so smooth. You don't have to worry about it. You know, I put the blue thumb studs on there. They're a little chewed up. I don't know if you can see that. They're a little chewed up. Um, but I sandpapered them just so they didn't have any, you know, rough edges and they're all good to go. So I like it. I like it. Um, I don't pull my swim shorts down. Yeah, exactly. And, and the funny part about that beefer is, you guys probably remember I took one, um, on a trip with me. I took one of the, uh, what is it? The GRY-1, the 535 GRY-1, which is the tan handled gravery with kind of that smoky nitrite coated blade, I think. And I took that with me to Maui and we hopped out and did some snorkeling, just random on the side of the road. And all of a sudden it was like, I forgot about it till I got out. And then I'm like, oh man, we were like an hour away from getting back to you know the resort or anything and so i left it in my pocket all afternoon dried it out the best i could and you know it basically the springs rusted and the liners got a little bit of rust on them but i took it into benchmade same thing you could do is mail it in i'm just here in the portland metro area so not too bad to schedule a little visit in and i dropped it off and they just re they replaced everything you know free of charge so it's kind of cool it's kind of cool that they did that and we got a special guest. We got our master moderator, platinum crew member, Big Red EDC in the house in the super chat. It says, well, what do we have here? Hashtag DSKFS. Give a shout out, you guys, to Big Red EDC in the chat. Getting ready for his amazing adventure, which I know he's going to share with us, not only on his Instagram, but on his YouTube channel. Yep, and Paul's got a good point right there. You can replace every part of a bug out to the point that nothing is benchmade anymore. Yep, 100%. I got the bug out with the darker blue scales and the brown coated blade. I love it. Yep, exactly. 100%, 100%.
The only carbon and aluminum scaled ones stay stock here. Yep, there you go. That's good. Yeah, big reds in the house, man. Getting ready. Um, and that's the thing. If you can pick one up on the secondary and and or save for it, you know, I mean, it's the, the bad part is, is, you know, you're running probably one between 160 and 180. Uh, if you're buying from like Cutlery Shop, Blade HQ, Knife Center, GP Knives, um, you know, River's Edge Cutlery, all the, the Benchmade dealers, or if you got one local, I know Cabela's is running a special right now, and I think it's almost time for the yearly sale. You know, you can get, what is it, 10 bucks off or 10% off your purchase, so that might be good too. And they have an exclusive too. And there's Madness Faction, our platinum, or I'm sorry, our gold class crew member and master moderator, dropping a link to Big Red EDC. If you don't follow him, what are you doing? Same with Madness Faction. Check him out as well. Make sure to put your link in there as well. I love it. I love it. Now, tomorrow, oh, thank you, Madness Faction. If you want to join Zach's Daily Carry Crew, there's a link right there. If you want to support, appreciate it. All of Zach's Daily Carry Crew who are here, thank you so much as well. Now, tomorrow, we are going to have a special little thing going on. We're going to take a peek at a few things. We also have some stuff that got sent into the channel. Aries EDC got a special thing from Aries EDC sent over. Um, so it'll be cool to check out some of that stuff. Got a package from Big Red. Should Big Red, should we open that tonight, right now? Should I open that right now, tonight? I think I should. I think I should. But you let me know. I got a little package from Big Red. And let's see, you can handle a lot of Benchmades at Mahoney's. Just wouldn't buy one from there. Extra 50 on everything. Oh, wow. Gray bug out on Blade Binge right now for 150 There you go, Gator. Yeah, so you can get some good deals. Some people have some good stuff. Had a bench made years ago, says Funland. It was an auto. I traded it after like six months. I didn't want a hard use because of the price. It was a gift, so I didn't want it. Okay, yeah, that means. Mass Factor says, open that shit, Big Red. Big Red says, go ahead. All right, all right, let's do it. So I've been going to Dunham's in my town, buy one pair of joggers on sale and get a coupon for usually 17, 21% off. Then I go back the day after and use the coupon to buy my knives. Oh, that's a great idea. LCAP says the aluminum bug out is one of the few knives I would replace with the exact same thing if I ever lost it. I agree. I like that one. Or there's a green one, says Gator, on Blade Binge right now for $125. There you go. I like that. Okay. We're getting all crazy here. Hold on. So we got a pack. Ooh, a red package sent to us. Ooh. All right. We got it sent in from Big Red EDC. So let's use the narrows. Let's carefully open this. On camera would be better, right? Open this up. I don't, I'm probably cutting something. That's just how that goes usually. On these small packages, cutting the edge of some. Oh my, look at this. Oh, he sent me some patches for giveaways. Oh, look at that, you guys. He sent us some SKL swag patches. Man. Okay, let's take one of these out. We got to look at it. I'm seeing something different. Am I seeing something different on these? So you guys, these are these go in my giveaway packages. Um, thank you, Big Red. I sent him some DSKFS patches, some of these. Um, so we got that on point as well. So thank you, Big Red. That's really nice of you. I appreciate you doing that because you can't, you can't, unless you're supporting his channel, unless you're, you know, winning them through a giveaway with him or myself. Okay, same, same. Okay. I just thought they looked a little bigger. Let me see. Hold on. Where's my uh, Where's my bag? Hold on. I gotta move something. Get my bag out here. You guys know the bag. The big five eleven bag. All right. I just gotta compare. Same to same. Okay. Okay. Same to same. Okay. Same to same. Red looks a little darker, but that's probably because uh, the other one's got a little sun sun fade to it. A little sun fade. All right, so we'll we'll throw one of these in the giveaway today. We might do a giveaway tonight. What do you think? A little giveaway tonight, maybe? Ah, I like it. I like it. What bag is that? So that's a 511. That's their briefcase uh, bag. I haven't done a review on that one yet, um, but I'm about to. I've been carrying it for the last couple months and doing some testing with it. Um, it's got some really cool features. 
Obviously we'll have to do it on a, on a different camera angle, but it's got some zippered pouches in the front. I got my triage, my Leatherman, my little Benchmade sharpener and stuff right in here. Um, the other side, and then it's got a couple bigger zippered stuff in the back. You can put the laptop tablets in here. It's got a little Velcro spot in here so you can put some pew pew carries in there if you want. Got some of my pens, the bash and the S gel. Got that awesome Sharpie, very pointy Sharpie, if you know what I mean, um, and stuff like that. So it's a really cool bag. Um, I highly recommend it. Let's see if I can move that back. There we go. But yeah, good stuff. Need a big red patch. There you go, Ed. Well, Ed, maybe you'll win something tonight. Maybe we'll get a swag pack out for you. Maybe we'll get something going for you. What's up with the handcuff key? <laughs> You saw that, didn't you? Oh, okay, okay. It's always good to be prepared, right? <laughs> you never know. Never know. Uh, uh, it's just one. It's just one. Uh, see, Bama Ninja says, I've had my Benchmade bug out since 2017, and I paid 99 at Academy Sports, but I've changed scales, Omega Springs hardware, and a pocket clip. Nice, nice. I do not know what you mean with pointy Sharpie. Please explain in great detail into this recorder, please. Hello. No one is available to take your call. At the tone, please leave a message. We'll call you back. Um, yeah, the 511 SHOT Show patch is pretty sweet. I might put one of those into my giveaway tomorrow. Um, but Sharpie, there's two companies. One of them's, uh, I think, Remnant that make these Sharpies. And they remove the ink and they put a... A beautiful beautiful piece of g10 in there and i've made it through a couple things of tsa with it just saying but they're good to have like even if you carry them in your shirt pocket or something um because you know everybody loves a sharpie right multi-tools that can be that pew pew that oh nice blue and natty ninjas here gold class crew member what's up blue You're my boy blue Pedro, it's Worcestershire. <laughs> What's up, Pedro? Pedro's here. Remember the crew? Now, I also have... Let's see. Where's it at? Is it on this one? Might be on the other side. Hold on. I thought I had... Oops. I think it's in my other... It's in my other pouch. Anyways, I do have a blue one of those, and they are awesome as well. There's Revenant Core right there from Pocket Razors. If you want to get one of those Sharpies, those G10 Sharpies, they do come in and out um, of stock with different colors. So if you're looking for something super stealthy, then obviously go black, standard black. But if you are looking for an orange or purple or blue, they also have red um, and green. Then the green's a little different than the cap, but all the others match pretty, pretty well. That's good. Oh, you got a purple one. Nice, Ed. Nice. Very nice. Had my eye on one of those Sharpies. Seems cool. Yeah, they're pretty cool. And I think they're only like, what, 25 or 30 bucks, something like that. So, <laughs> oh, I vote for orange on the Sharpie. Just saying, says Pirates. Yeah, you like the orange stuff. It's good. It's good. No, oh, that's cool. That's cool. All right. So, let's see here. Mass Faction, Gold Class Commander for 23 months. 23 months says one more month for two years. Then I get my two-year anniversary Benchmade Anthem. Woohoo! Just kidding. Unless, dot, 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 dot. Y'all are amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Mass Faction. I appreciate all the support. And like I said, hey, you were chatting the other day about some stuff you're looking at. Just let me know, man. Hit me up. Send me a message, email, all that. We'll put something together. <laughs> Thank you, Mass Faction. Bluminati Ninja gifted one Zach's Daily Crew, uh, Daily Carrier Crew membership. And Joe Solomon got his membership back. Thank you, Blue. <laughs> and if you don't know, Bluminati Ninja, go check Bluminati Ninja out. Just saying. Some wicked, awesome, fun stuff. That's how he's doing it, right? That's good. That's good. All right. So, Griffin. What's up, Griffin? Thanks for being here, Griffin. Thank you for the super chat and the question. <laughs> So Griffin says, hey, Zach, I want to get my hands on the new Black Narrows, but I'm having a hard time pulling the 540 trigger on it. 
any advice. So if you're having a hard time with the, the trigger money on that, I would say wait for people that get them and want to put them back out into the community. Um, what's up, Palmer? Remember the crew? Thanks for being here. The biggest thing with it is it's not for everybody. I've had a, I've had a couple people already say like, hey, mine's on order. I got mine and they're loving it. And then I've had one person message me and go, hey, man, I'm not really a huge fan. Obviously, they can return it. Um, some people, though, you know, maybe they have a they put some little snail trails on it, stuff like that. Um, and Rob's Nerdy Knives says, Griffin, add it to your SMKW cart and wait a day. They'll send you a 10% off coupon for $486. Ooh, there we go. Rob's hooking it up. There we go. I like that. I like that. That's a that's a good that's a good opportunity as well. So the 486 price tag is bringing it down even further. You know, I mean, for a titanium. All right, where's it at? Let's get it. Since you all are here, we'll show it again tomorrow. So just know you're gonna see it a little bit tomorrow. Um, but here we go, right here. This is the all black narrows. And do me a favor. I put out my uh, unboxing and comparison on this. Please go give it a like um, and check it out for me. But it's, it's hard to look at because if you look at it from here, right, it's black on black, but you get that sheen. And to me, it's almost like an oil sheen on the blade because they polished the blade before they did the DLC coating. So it makes it a little bit different. And then, of course, the, the handles, everything is the same, right? You're paying $20 more, uh, full retail, $600 on these, $580 on the original, uh, which they dropped... Well, I thought it was originally six, but I went back and watched my own stuff and looked at it and it was 580 on this original one. And of course that's starting to drop now because people are like, oh, and some people have got those for like 320. And that was like three, four months after they launched them. So I would say you might see some different pricing from different Benchmade dealers depending on how they sell. But all black wise, it's pretty rad and I showed it on an Instagram picture next to this service black colored um, Lynch, the all access pass version 4.0 and they look pretty similar. Um, this DLC coating is a little chalkier, a little lighter than the service coating on this, but they're both titanium. Thank you so much. Pocket razors, satisfaction, big red for dropping links to everything. And go check out Bushcraft Rebooted as well. Check out his channel. So, you know, if you don't know Lynch Northwest, got it has a bunch of new prize on there too. I'm trying not to buy a little chunk or a little chunk because I was like, dude, that'd be sweet on my keys for work or something. But I really like the all black version, you know. It kind of is kind of cool, but I was like, I get, you know, I mean, I did a comparison of my video, right? Here's your like standard coating on your bug out right and you get just a little bit different light reflectivity it's kind of a deeper and just like i said it has that oil sheen fake one on timo for 23 yeah and that's the hard part but you know the fake ones are also a lot thicker i've seen that on the fake ones so it's not you're not going to get as thin of one on that yep two benchmates equals one rock, rock said yeah 100 percent all right, let's see. I missed a comment up here from Rob. I love the polished DLC. Microtech charges $100 to $150 for DLC and polished DLC, FYI. Wow, okay. So they charge that up on that. So as head of Benchmade, says Satisfaction, we need to lower the butterfly tax. Remember what happened in 1776. Yeah, I, and I'm with you on that, right? I'm with you. Um, it's one of those things, you know. But overall, I mean, if you're looking for a black version of it, and like I said, it's super, super slim. Mark Carrera says, crest the thumbs up, y'all. 100%, 100%. 100 David Helco, what's going down? How are you? Isn't one of the advantages to a black blade is not catching any light? Why did they want to catch the... Yeah, and that's the thing, right? Like, I mean, it's not a black class knife, so it's not any of their tactical knives. But even their black coating, like I showed on that bug out you know, kicks off a little bit of light reflectivity. Um, the only one, and we'll show all three here real quick in the right light, you know, they use this new coating on the gray ones, right? These blades, and they don't, they don't kick back light at all. 
So you can see the light reflectivity. There's no light reflectivity on these gray ones. So I really like the new coating on these gray ones. And this is the 535. Uh, is it GY-08? But it's the new uh, bug out. It comes with the gray grivery scales, the dark gray ones. But that's a production one. They should have put the narrows on washers, in my opinion. Eh, they could they could do that. I think they want to be a little bit different, especially with the new you know upgraded access lock that they've been having on this narrows. And they have a bigger version on the 710. I can't wait to see that and show that to you. We'll see if I end up getting a, a gold class 710. They come out next Thursday, but I'm I gotta take all my pop cans in and see if I can make it. We'll see. <laughs> The paper test on those, they're super sharp. Uh, let me get some paper here. Hold on. Let me move a half a dozen knives here off my tablet of paper. All right. Let's get a piece of paper out. No room for washers. Yeah, they want to keep it super thin. So we get that. The Black Scale 710's coming out. It's, oh, it's the limited, that's the limited, I think, the black scaled one, because the regular aluminum one is going to be the production. Um, where did my thing go? Okay. So if one was guessing, the limited's going to be out by the end of the month, if somebody was guessing. Uh, the gold class comes out next Thursday. The limited comes out end of the month and the production comes out in a couple months. So yeah, limited is going to be blue class. Yep. And I think, I mean, pricing is still going to be high on it. I think, let me see if they got pricing on this. It's a super secret sheet I'm not allowed to give much info off of, but um, production's going to be less than the Narrows. <laughs> so it's aluminum, it's milled aluminum scales, a lot bigger uh, handle of a knife. So, you know, that's how it goes. So narrow, original Narrows, super, super sharp. <coughs> Excuse me try to get some paper curls out of it this one's been used a little bit so haven't sharpened it up but still really good uh the black one just as sharp out of the box i know right that's the hard part about this is like when you see some stuff that you want to get um and maybe that's also a thing you know they wanted to keep like that so you can get some you get some curls out of it and stuff as well. They come super sharp. Obviously, it's all edge. You know what I mean? Um, and maybe that's another thing for the coating. Yeah, it's super sharp. They're super sharp. I mean, I'll give you that. And this one's been used probably a few dozen times um, as I carried it. Um, no, no hard, crazy use. Uh, my daily work does not have hard, crazy use, so... You know, the most that that's been cutting is like cardboard and stuff like that. So that's good. The DLC is only as strong as the substrate. Todd Carr, it's on the pocketed bearing on the tie and the other blade. Limited in the gold class of what? The 710. There's going to be three 710 uh, releases in the next couple months, Rob. So they're gonna. the first one's going to be the gold class. That comes out Thursday. I think they're announcing that already. I think you can pre-order those on some of the dealer websites. So that's already being announced. And then they have the uh, limited edition, which is... So the just a quick overview. The 710 obviously is uh, the anniversary of the access lock, those kind of things. It's also kind of been re-engineered. So none of the, the, the blades are swappable, those kind of things from old to new. And... One of the things is the gold class versions coming out. It's titanium with damascus steel. Um, oh, <laughs> thanks, Pocket Razors. I appreciate that. And yeah, so the 710. And then they're going to have a limited edition one that comes out end of the month. And that's going to be aluminum scales. 
and it's gonna it's got some milled aluminum scales and then it's got a like a dlc coating to the handle and well a black one which is kind of cool and they went with a, a tan coated blade and i'm like rah, 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 on the the standard one and the standard one comes out in a couple months and that one is a uh uh, just a raw aluminum uh, handle one. So kind of like the OG goat stuff, you know, I mean, it's, it's smooth and stuff, but it's milled out and it looks pretty sick. I like all three of them. Um, I'm really going to try to see if I can get a gold class one, but we'll see if the, the cards are in, in when they come in. Cause they only made like of the gold class ones, they only made a small amount of them. Can the narrows cut a sandwich in half? A sandwich is a nice crusty bread and bacon with it. Yeah. Oh yeah. I could definitely do that. 100%. Maybe we'll have to try that next week. What's up, DGA? Platinum crew member, how are you? Good to see you as well. Thank you for being here. Can we include those with bacon? Yeah, yeah. Prove it. Okay, I'll prove it. 100%. <laughs> Isn't it 6,800 MSRP for the gold class? I think it's 1,500 full MSRP for the gold class. I'm guessing that they'll sell out quick. Um, a lot of people love the 710. And having a gold class version that comes out, people are probably going to buy them up. And there's a very limited quantity of them. Um, they're all handmade, hand finished, those kind of things. So I think, I don't think I have, I don't have the, hmm, I don't have the quantity, but I'll find that out this, this week. I'll find out the quantity, but I think it's like, it's under, I think it's under a thousand total pieces for that gold class. So that's going to go pretty quick. Bust out your 710-1401. All <laughs> right, right. You're like, bam, there you go. All right. Let's see here. Um, cut that sandwich, says Neil. Yeah. All right. I'll have to do that. I'll see. I don't know if I have bacon in the house, but I might be able to go find some in the morning. And I can build a sandwich maybe before noon tomorrow when I go live. The Magna Cut on the Limited 710 is super enticing. It's just one of those things, you know. They do some really cool stuff. And it's just one of those, like, you know, pricing-wise, the hardest part, right? I mean, I had some money from some knife sales. I spent a little bit of it. But I'm like, well, if I have the ability to get one of those gold class ones, then that will be pretty rad for the collection. Um, but overall, like... You know, the limited, I don't even know if they've advertised the limited yet, so I'm not sure if I'm supposed to say any of that yet, but we'll see how it goes. And then the production one, I think the production one's going to be more of a, a, a more of a value in Benchmade pricing terms, but build a bacon sandwich live, just saying, okay, okay, I like that, Pocket Razors, good idea. Two slices, perfectly buttered toast, oozing with flavor and texture on guess you're making me hungry, man. <laughs> Philly cheese jerky. Nice. M-bomb jerky is better than a BLT. Don't care what you say. For the bacon, my friend. Yeah, sounds good. We have a we have a good breakfast place here, so I think maybe I'll just go by there in the morning, get a little breakfast, and get like a side of bacon to go, and then come home, put it in the fridge for a little bit. Make sure it's nice and crispy for a sandwich build on the live tomorrow. I agree, Neil. I agree, hundred percent. Blade HQ has their price for the production seven ten at four oh five. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad for the limited edition one. Okay, okay, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, I don't want to overstep. Obviously, I'm not looking at the online prices and stuff and when things are announced. Um, you know, I do have a relationship with Benchmade. I do have an NDA signed with them for some testing and early products and those kind of things, which I've talked about before. And I just want to respect that on here. So I try to, you know, give you guys a little bit of heads up on what's going on. <coughs> Excuse me. Make it a Cuban Torta instead. Cheeto Montana. I like that. Pocket Razor says, hashtag bacon sandwich build. Hashtag DSKFS. Thank you, Pocket Razors. <laughs> Beef for Baron says, dude, I ate that M-bomb jerky the other day. It's so addicting. Yes, M-bomb jerky, if you don't know. Hit up Embalm over on Instagram. Get some jerky ordered. He is the master of meats. Handful of nuts included with your order. It's so good. It's so good. All right. Well, let's see here. I don't have... Okay, hold on. 
I didn't plan anything. 100%. I didn't plan for a giveaway, so hold on here. All right, we're going to do, we're going to roll this real quick. <laughs> if you want to DSKFS that sandwich. Yeah, right, right? Oh, Big Red, thank you so much, man. Hashtag bacon fun. <laughs> Triple E, EDC's in the house. What's up, man? Welcome in. All right, I want to do a quick giveaway. You know how we like to do it. We're gonna do a quick little giveaway. Um, I don't have any, I. you guys were so awesome with all the memberships last week. We're just having fun. Yeah, I wanna give away something. Maybe a little swag pack. Maybe a little something with some stickers. What else we got here? I know it's not why we're here, but at least we can do a swag pack and a few fun things. Yeah, right? There's three there's three giveaway knives on the table. Yeah, right, right, right. All right, we're gonna just get it get a little swag giveaway cracking. It's always fun to do that. You know how we do things. We're gonna I'm gonna put these off to the side because I need to build some more tonight. I had like ten of them pre-built, but with all the with all the donated memberships and giveaways last week and giveaway winners, we're out. All right. About that stuff. Since it's a fun one, let's do this. Got, these are buried here. Hold on. Some special, super secret stash of our Benchmade stickers. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, right? Right? 100%, 100%. Luminati Ninja giving another membership to Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Bama Ninja EDC got his membership back. <laughs> Giveaway one night with Zach in Vegas. He knows all the sweet spots. Yeah. Oh, I'm down. Let's do it. Let's do it. I like it. M-Bombs here says, JB and Zach rock. Try M-Bomb jerky. 16 flavors. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cheeto, take care, man. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it so much. All right, here. Hold on. We're trying to like that one. There we go. <coughs> We're still needing to tap dance on that like button just a little bit. Please and thank you, sis pocket razors. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's see here. What else we got? Let's see. We need some patches. Hello, Patches. Where are you? All right. Here we go. All right. We got Zach's Daily Carry Crew in the house. We also need to throw out a DSKFS patch right there for the win. Now, we also have these donated Saturday Knife Live ranger eye patches from big red adc we'll throw that in there and i'll put some more swag with this this is kind of just some channel swag got some slick them all from ocd for edc that we always have on tap i love that you guys saw we gave out some of our uh our well we gave out our final stuff from um doo -doo -doo, knife butter last week so that was awesome yeah the skl patch and the dskfs patch is awesome uh, so you know, yeah, DJ is here as well. Yeah, heck yeah. I love it. I'm drinking this new monster flavor. It's pretty good. It's grapefruit like a fresca. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. A little grapefruit, grapefruity fresca. Okay. So I will say this tomorrow. Um, hold on. Hold on. Where are we at on this? Okay, I don't want to steal from tomorrow's giveaway. Tomorrow, we have an awesome um, giveaway for the live stream. So don't miss that. Just saying. Don't forget to uh, knifetubeschedule.com. H-T-T-P, no S. Um, knifetubeschedule.com. 
and we have so many cool, cool things that are happening in the, in the community tomorrow for live streams and a Monday and the rest of the week. But I know we got Neves tomorrow, Neves Knives. We have Tri-State EDC um, with Cole. So don't forget that. And we also have... I'm drawing a blank. You guys help me out. We got uh, mine at 12 Pacific. And we also have OCD for EDC, 5 Pacific, 7 Central. We also have Edgy American right after that at 9 Central. Um, Stella. Don't forget Stella tomorrow as well. And let's see. Yeah, that would be cool, Joe, if they did that 100%. DSF or DSKFS patch is priceless. Love that patch. Yeah, it's good stuff. And there's the knife tube schedule right there from Mass Faction. Thank you for posting that up. I really appreciate that. All your help on that is awesome. So I'm going to throw in a couple extra things. I have some stuff I want to put with this. So you will win a few things. And then we'll get you over to Javon's Knife Flicks, right? I want to see what's in the big Benchmade box. Pretty please. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's show that real quick. All right. The mini Bushcrafter. This stuff is gorgeous. What's up, Jay Nor? How are you? Yeah, YD, there's a schedule that's managed and put together by Scott N in our community. He does an amazing job. So this is the mini Bushcrafter. Uh, giving you an exclusive look. Uh, we'll have some review stuff up. It'll probably post on Monday or Tuesday. Just a quick little... Okay, okay. Sounds good, Mass Faction. I appreciate it. But it's got, it's got a little... Uh, you know, a little hole right here in the sheath so you can put a ferro rod in there, right? So you can carry your ferro rod with you and get your party started. Um, but overall, I mean, this is the, you know, X attack, you know, from uh, Benchmade, you know, but you don't have to pay for the, the extra <laughs> laser marking. You don't have to pay for the butterfly tax, but this one, oh my gosh. <sighs> it just smells so good. The leather on that is so amazing. It's so good. The strop for the knife. Yeah, that would be cool too. You might be able to put a strop on there. Um, but leather, the leather sheath on this is amazing. This is the, of course, the Shane Cyber. It's an S30V. Look how thick that is. You got like a red wine liner to the G10 handles. A big, huge lanyard hole. And some, uh, I mean, it's designed. I mean, here's my, I have a large glove size hand. And you got some extra room in there. So not going to be probably for the double XL hands unless you want that sweet little blade. And yeah, it's a beautiful camping knife. Obviously, it's squared off at a 90. So if you do need to like, you know, get on there and make your fire, it's easy to go. You're good to go with it. Now this, it's obviously designed by Shane Seibert. He's local Oregonian here. His bushcrafter design is notorious. Notorious. Dun, 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 dun. But they have the mini, they have the full size, and then they have a limited edition. Sorry, not a limited edition. They have a production style one that's coming out with black scales and the more red liners that really mimics one of his customs. So I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. You can get the lanyards on there for the double XLs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. But this is the mini. It's a thick boy, and it fills up that hand. So you get a really good grip, you know, especially if you're doing any sort of batoning or you're going to, you know, want, you could, in my opinion, you could take this through your, your log and split up kindling with it, right? Um, not going to be as long of a blade, but this is the mini Bushcrafter from Benchmade. Um, we'll show off the full size that came out with it as well, and we'll do a comparison on those and look at some other ones. Josh Branson's in the house, member for six months, says six big old biggins. Yeah, buddy. Thank you, Josh. <laughs> now, these are going to be a little more expensive on the higher end. I mean, they're not going to be your uh, cheapest fixed blades that you'll ever find. But overall, these are built to survive. So these are ones that, you know, if you get one of these and you throw it in your rig or in your pack, you're not going to have to worry about anything. It's going to take on any adventure. And, you you know, obviously you can use, you know, wood to pound through other wood. So you're really pretty much good to go with this. I know Rado Outdoors has a lot of experience with the original Bushcrafter. Um, he could probably give some more pointers than me on this. 
because he's like a fire starter master. And I know he kind of hides that. He doesn't tell a lot of people that, but I'm kind of outing him on that right now. So just saying, just saying. It's a hunk of big steel, hunk of S30. So uh, I wouldn't worry about it, Todd. Yeah, we're and we're, like I said, once we get uh, the unboxing done, we're going to take this out and do some demos with it. And it'll be fun. So she's a beaut. What's up, Jay Jonna? How are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much bigger is the full size? Um, let's see here. I wanted to save this for tomorrow, but you know, just kidding. We got you covered. We got you covered. This leather smells so good though. Oh my gosh. Leather smells so good. So good. So good. The scales glued. No, they have the pins in there. I imagine they put some glue as well, but they're, they're pinned. That's why you have the the holes in the center. So there's your there's your comparison. Let's move some of this. Oops. I turned my fan on. So there's the handles. Turn my fan off. And there's your size comparison. Yeah, what's up, Lou? How are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would I prefer 3V or Magnica? 3V works really well. Um, you know, the other ones, we had crew wear on some stuff. They, they work amazing, especially with those mini Adamases and stuff. Um, but, you know, the bigger one, obviously, you know, the handle is going to be a little bit bigger, right? So you get your you got your big bear paws and stuff. I mean, look how much extra room you have, right? You got a whole nother, another finger length. And then blade-wise, you know, it's just that little bit bigger version to mimic the original bushcrafter. So we'll cover a little bit of this tomorrow. You know, I like how they, they didn't have enough room to put the logo up here and they didn't want to make it smaller. So they just moved it down a little bit. So you got a little bit of those differences. All right, DGA, have an awesome day, man. All right, sounds good. Have a great weekend. Yeah, thanks for being here, man. I appreciate it. Um, but overall, same thing with this. You know, it's got the leather sheath, the spot for your, you know, Slim Stogie, um, just kidding. Uh, your ferro rod, those kind of things. But these are awesome. These are really good. Uh, you know, this mini one will serve you really well. But overall, man, it's sm smoking awesome. <laughs> yeah, I am bomb. We'll talk, man. We'll talk. I saw your message, man. We'll talk. We'll talk. They need to add a micro... Similar to Griffin Co. Scout 2.0. Yeah, that would be awesome if they did a micro one. Well, and if you remember, like Shane Cyber's done some like the micro pocket rocket, the MPR and stuff. He's done some smaller knives like that. As long as they're big thickens, he likes them. So he likes that stuff. It's good. Yeah. What's up, Demon Hawk? How are you, man? It's good to go. Yeah. Mattisfaction asked Javon. What's the smallest knife size you would carry? Ooh. Ooh. There you go. I know he's got some thin small ones too. He needs a small one for his baby hands. Hey, it's all what fits good in your hand, right? Just saying. Josh says he's enjoying his last night with his little man before he goes back to mom. Right on, Josh. Those times are so awesome, man. I'm glad you're taking time and spend time with your kid, man. That's that's really really cool. <laughs> I saw that I saw that comment. Sign the NDA, sign the NDA. I got a peek at the NAF. Josh being mini beer modding. So cool, says sharp guy. That's cool, that's cool. Yeah. If anyone else thinks of Captain Adama, every time somebody mentions the Adamas, we have plenty in common. There you go. <laughs> I'll have to look that up. I don't know who Captain Adama is. Paul says the mini pirate's his smallest knife that he uses. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay, okay. The 3V? I do not have the micro pocket rocket. No, I have, I have several of his knife designs, 
that uh, you know have been uh oh Battlestar Galactica is where that's from okay okay um I don't have the NPR though I looked at it but at the time it was like what 400 bucks or something I think it was 400 bucks and it was you know it's titanium stuff but it's like dude it's small bro it's small I did watch a, a live in-person challenge um if you guys were ever part of the beers with benchmade thing and one of the employees he was uh he was challenged to cut through a cinnamon roll with one of those NPRs is kind of funny <laughs> Andrew Arnold, Platinum Crew Members in the house. He's like, I thought Adama was an admirable. Oh, it was an admiral. Not admiral. Admirable. Admirable? Admiral. It's a rank, man. It's a rank. Come on, Zach. Um, Big Red EC, you haven't seen the Angry Watermelon in a bit. You still carry it? Yeah, yeah. Pocket Raiders just throwing up the link for OCD for EC as well. Mass Effect says, Zach, what would it take to get you to grow a sweet mullet and do some NAF testing? Ooh, a sweet mullet. I don't know how long of a mullet I could grow and still be in compliance with my grooming standards at work. We have some interesting grooming standards. Uh, Paul says, I had a mini NPR prototype, but I sold it. Oh, wow. Prototype one. Okay, cool, cool. Admirable, oh, admirable, Admiral Adama was very much a Battlestar Galactica thing. Okay, okay. Mini Pocket Rocket Flipper is the version I really want. Oh, okay. Oh, Benchmade is anti mole Yeah, it's, so here's a, here's a funny thing I'll tell you about one of our policies at work. We have, so if you want facial hair, you have to literally show up with it. So you can't have like, stubble five o'clock shadow nothing like that so you have to like take your vacation and sneak away with maybe getting a day or two without shaving and then you can come back with facial hair zaddy and a mullet you have my attention yeah right right yeah i think my baby banter is the smallest knife yeah we have you covered on the mullet my man okay right on right on so it's just kind of weird it's a weird policy um, <laughs> sharp guy says, I'm pretty sure Zach is the executioner at foster farms chicken. <laughs> Just don't shave. Yeah. That's, that's the thing. It's really crazy with that stuff is 80 CR two V really that bad of a steel wanting to fix it. I haven't heard of 80 CR two V. Hmm. I'll have to look that one up. I haven't heard of that steel yet. So it's like, and I don't know if like the military is that way. Yeah, wear a fake one. That's a good idea. It's Commander Adama and Captain Apollo. I kind of mixed them together in my comment. I had Apollo in the mind. That's cool. That's cool. The wine's kicking in. Yeah, that's all good. That's all good. Yeah. What's up, James? James Ortiz in the house. Yeah, and that's the weird part about that. Like, I've never... Oh, you've tried that, Palmer? It's good. It's good fixy steel. Okay. Pocket, I DM'd you, bro. Nice, nice. Just a little beat down. Well, shout out to Demonock. You guys show Demonock some love in the chat. We all are going through stuff, right? We all are going through stuff. So it's always good to be here, chat, hang out. Since when do molds grow on your face? Yeah, no, I was just talking about my overall like policy. So it's like one of those grooming standards that we have, right? And it's like some employers have them. And they allow stuff like beards or goatees or mustaches. Like we have one guy who's got like a pretty sweet, like, you know, 70s stash going. But it's like he had to literally like come back from vacation with it grown and pretty much grown in, you know. Triple EDC says 80 CR2 is decent, used by Winkler knives and a lot of people who forge. I would say it's a less stainless version of AAB. L, if I remember right. Okay, okay. Zach, come back from Blade Show with a sweet beard and a mullet. That would be cool, Mass Faction. I think I could get away with... I think I could get away with a mullet for a while. I just don't... I think I would have to come up with a version of like... I don't know if you have to like braid it and tuck it up. I'll have to read our policy on that. 
Griffin says, what's your guys' shipping practices like? I've had a few packages from Benchmade show up a little weird. Invoice was crumbled. Fulfillment and shipping and shipment the same person. Mine's all, mine's all been pretty good. Um, the stuff that I've ordered from the custom knife builder and the stuff I've got from like warranty returns that they ship to me. Um, it's all been like UPS um, in a good box, you know, packed well. Nothing's been crumbled or anything like that, but... What's a good EDC during the eclipse? Ooh. Yeah, Mass Faction, that's a good point. Cornrows are acceptable. That's true. That's true. They are acceptable for ours. I got rid of the mullet to look more professional. Sad time, says Palmer. Oh, man. Todd says it's all about facial recognition software. Same policy that requires him to carry a handcuff key. <laughs> yeah, my stuff's been pretty good from Benchmade. Um, I've actually had worse with some of the dealers, the knife dealers. Um, most have been pretty good, but every once in a while, it's just like certain ones that you can tell they just kind of like drop it in a box and kick it out the door kind of a thing. But Lou says, Zach, I vote for shaving your or shaving half your head and growing a pair of mutton chops. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll have to check that out. I don't know how big the mutton chops are. A feathered hair complimenting the mullet. Yeah, I think you have to. You have to get like a little uh, mousse in it or something. Or some of that uh, that gel in the little cans. What's up, Matthew Russell? How are you? Good to see you. Maz Faction's got the Eclipse Carry right there. So check that out. <laughs> I got rid of the mullet because it was too damn hot in the spray booth. Sad day. Ah, oh, that's a bummer, Pog Razors. Drinkwater's here. What's up, man? I thought hopefully I said hi to you. If not, Drinkwater's here. Remember the crew. Thank you for being here. We also got uh, Mike Kreischer reviews jumping in. Also with another another guy with an awesome channel. Big Red EDC says gotta head to bed, y'all. I'll pre super chat for tomorrow. Later, all hashtag DSKFS. Man, Big Red, thank you so much. You guys give a shout out to Big Red. Safe travels, my friend. You and the family have fun. Uh, please send us just a, you don't even have to do a video, but just send us a photo, you know, on Instagram, post it up. We want to see you enjoying yourself, having a nice drink, a little lava flow by the pool, man. That's awesome. I'm trying to do a quick one. Hold on. There we go. That's as quick as we get on. Bojo's in the house. What's up, Bojo? I think I said hi to you as well. Member of the crew. <laughs> the Dapper. The Dapper Dan. Yeah. Exactly, Bluminati. Yeah, yeah. Ed says you need PP Ultim scales so you can see the eclipse through them. Ooh, that's a good call. Good call. I like that. I like that. Big Red. Have an awesome trip. Tell the family hello. Much love to you all. We'll definitely have to meet up after you guys get back. 100%. Gator says those Dapper Dan were my gifts Friday. <laughs> nice. Todd Carr says AEBL is miles ahead of 8CR2 in stainless. Uh, and edge retention. Around the same toughness, I believe. So, okay for larger fixed blades where impact strength is important. AEBL, much better in a small blade. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Thank you for putting that in there. Where do you get one of those pew pew horns? This one's an app. This one's an app, and it's on iOS. And I have another one in a different app on the same, and it's got a huge crazy soundboard, but it sounds a little different. So let me see if I can find that one. Oh, of course, they want me to view this ad. Whoops. We don't want an ad. No ads here. That's the only negative about the other, the other soundboard. It's got tons of apps or tons of uh, sounds, but it's also got like... Access denied. But I'm trying to see what their gong or their, uh, their horns like on this one.
Look at a lot of crazy stuff. <laughs> we could do the crow. Little party horn. Let's see if they got the big one in there, though. And it's probably super loud, but I love my turn down for what button app. Ooh, there's a turn down for what button app? Turn down for what? Does it do the whole like? I can't find it. There's so much on here. You guys are probably like, what is going on? Now, here's here's one. I wonder if you guys can get this one. Whose house is it? There you go. Welding helmet works for the Eclipse. Yeah, that's good. Nice. Thanks, baby girl. I appreciate you doing that. Mass Faction's putting up some links for Z-Man. Z-Man DDC's in the house. Platinum crew member, Master Marauder. What's up, Z-Man? I missed you coming in. Messing with all this. What's up, Jeff Carter as well? Mike Jernak, Platinum crew member here as well. So many people jumping in. Yeah, yeah. Good job, Josh. I like that. I like that. I'm still trying to find that other one. It's like buried in here. I thought we had it, but maybe not. All right, it's got to be on the other page. I probably didn't uh, start on the right page. It's a lie. That's a long one. Do it. Do, 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 do it. Come on. All right. Damn. All right. <laughs> All right, okay, so they got this one. That was easy. We got this one when you're trying to figure it out. I know, right, Z-Man? I know. What's up, Caleb Hale? <laughs> Remember the crew? Microtech Sith Lord knife. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So I thought they had the other one on here, but maybe not. Dang it. All the dad jokes. You ever try the McNeese Ridge Runner fixed blade in 3V USA made? I have not, Rob. Was it good? Was it good? Triple E from downtown. And the NBA Jam, he's on fire. Yeah. <laughs> Access granted. Let's see. Oh, here we go. That's mass faction right there. Got to drive up my daughter or drive my daughter up some cold meds and seen the SKL notification. Yeah, what's up, Mike? I love it. Thanks for being in. I appreciate you jumping on here. I mean, it's even got this. I just don't, I just don't know where the other one is. So I guess I'll have to find it. There's like 30, 40 pages of sounds on here. Which I kind of like the Halloween. It's got a lot of Halloween inspired stuff. But it's crazy. All right. All right. We'll end that one off. <laughs> People are bouncing out. Everybody's like, see you, dude. But this one's pretty good. I like that one. It's simple. It's by itself. Does it have the long drawn out? No, it doesn't, Josh. Nope. All right, Gator. We'll see you tomorrow, man. I appreciate it. David Jewell jumped on Super Chat said, thanks, y'all. The 8-0 CRV2 Fixie is gift. Sweet grinds and handle looks only like light use, I'm sure. Going to order it. Nice. Well, that's good, man. If you can get a good one like that, that's really how it goes. Dad jokes, really? How did an orangutan get its name? Oh, we got dad jokes. 
How did the orangutan get its name? Hmm. How did the orangutan get its name? That's a good question. Let's see. Let's turn the page. Let's see what we got. We have this one too, though. It's supposed to be a balloon deflating. <laughs> I don't know about that. I like that one. Bob Seeger. <laughs> I was kind of waiting for the answer there. Did Ed get it? Good night, Mateo. Give me a call when you get a chance, says Ed Harrison. Heck yeah. It has one brass ball and one steel ball when it walks. Well, you know, orangutan. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Uh, Amazon welding lens shade 11, 24709. That's pretty good. That's a good cost. I like that 100%. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate all the support. <laughs> Acid test kids in the house, gold class crew member. What is happening? What is happening? Good to see you here as well for this little late night live we got going on here. Now, let's see here what we got in the bucket for this one. Because I am I wish it had a fade out. Zachary in Vegas? No, no. I'm not in Vegas. Nope. That would be fun, though. Be like, you come up to the counter and you're like, Hello, I'm here. Yes, is this hotel pager friendly? Yeah, I know. It needs a flat. 503 repping. What's up, Toyotas and Tools? How are you? Repping the 503. Love to stick around, but it's 2.30 a.m. here, and I've got a busy day ahead of me. Everyone, have a good day. Are you in Texas? Nope. Not in Tejas. No Tejas for me. Probably be better, though, than where I'm at. I'm just saying. You know? All right. I got to see this. We got to find this. What does this one say? Yummy. 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 Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> much love. It says much love to Mass Faction. Ooh. Ooh, I like that one. <laughs> Rob's like, it's 1.30 here. I got to sleep. <laughs> nice, nice. What is this one? Hmm. Wonder if this one's where we're at. <laughs> Love kids, hates porcupines. I like that. That's good. Um, there's so many here on here. Oh, I know. All right, well, we'll find it for tomorrow because I'd like to compare them. Is there a, hey, yeah, I think so. Let me look. Hmm. There's so much crazy stuff in here. There's 46 pages. 46 pages of sound. And there's like no way to go back to the original without going through the whole entire thing. 
So a little bit better on, you know. <laughs> and when you when you swipe pages, sometimes you hit one of them. Look out! I don't know. Hmm. Yummy. Hello, this is Benchmade. How may I help you? Yeah, yeah, right. Their phone just rings. No, they got a good crew on the phone. If you ever have anything and you need something from them, call them, don't email them. Because the emails take longer. Call them on the phone. No, they don't have any respawn ones, which is sad. But I haven't gone through all 46 pages. I only like to page 28. Mini Freak for 125 on Blade Binge earlier. Oh, nice. Mini Freak for 125. It's a good deal. Put some red thumb studs on it. Ooh. We need Zach's direct line. I'll give you my direct line. Send me a message. Is your Douglas Donless Gold Class crew member says, Hello. Is your refrigerator running? That, that was the funny stuff long long ago when you're a kid. You call just random numbers. And somebody answer like one in the morning, like, hello, oh, and you're like, Has your refrigerator running? <laughs> Jay Hardesty, gold class crew member, what's up, man? Says, Oh crap, I'm up. Well, welcome. Thanks for being up and joining with us. I have a knife with an orangutan. Oh wait. That says orangutan. <laughs> Zach's direct line. one 800 Dash Benchmade. Arcane Abyss with the Time Asses kit for 300 in the Discord. Ooh, nice. That's a good one, too. So, if you guys, what's your experience on buying some of that stuff? On Blade Binge and some of those secondary websites? I bought a couple things off Blade Binge. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. Why can't Barbie get pregnant? Because Ken came in another box. <laughs> I like that one. That's good. That's good. I like that one. YD Knives, take care. It's too late for you. I like Love Them Knives. Yeah, Love Them Knives has some really good sales. And I saw there was like a bench made. And I, man, shout out to Jason. Jason, if you watch these videos, shout out to Jason. He gave me an update on a, a crazy... Um, Apostle P did a crazy sale Friday night. And there's a link right there to Love Them Knives. He's got awesome, awesome deals on his stuff too. And it was one of those weird parts where um, Apostle P had like probably 20 plus old bench maids. And the majority of them sold, which I was very, very sad. But you've only sold on Blade Spin and I haven't had any issues. Oh, I did do a trade and it went well. Okay, that's good to hear Toyota's and Tools. Nice. I love the Reddit knife swap. Okay, cool, Double D Tent. Um, Rob's Journey Knife says, last thought before I sign off, I put bronze anodized thumb studs on my carbon fiber Magna Cut Adamas. The cones on the Adamas were painful. Okay, so you're talking these right here. These uh, thumb stud cones. I like them. But yeah, I could see those bronze ones being just a sweet upgrade. That's cool. Josh 304 says, Bowling Alley Prank, do you guys have a 10 pound, do you guys have 10 pound balls? How the hell do you walk? <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Getting a new Rad 2 from eBay for 27 bucks. Oh, it's a really good deal. It's another beaut of a knife. This is like gold class style. Like, I mean, coated liners, hardware, pocket clip, pivot ring, carbon fiber scales, thumb studs. All that with Magna Cut for like the 300 range. Come on now. Benchmade doing good on this one. Just saying. Uh, sold a knife on Blade Bench today and a few others in the past. I've never had an issue. That's cool. Thanks, Matthew. Uh, Finland says, I bought a Wii uh, Esprit on Blade Bench. The site was kind of buggy. My seller said he had a couple issues too, but I got a knife and, or got a knife I love at a great price. That's cool. I have a Go Ahead Custom. Hunter listed for 130 ship final price drop. Nice on Blade Binge. Okay. That's cool. 
the hard part with that, yeah, protection from fakes, that's going to be up to the seller, right? Blade Binge takes no responsibility in that. Had a full size, but that mini is on fire. Mm-hmm. Uh, that Adamas is so sexy. I really want to get that one eventually. Yeah, it's a, it's a good one. I recommend that one. Anybody that's looking for like a just a tank of a knife that looks really good, that's good. And it's in that $300 price range. It's good. Mini Adamas Envy, it's a real thing. Yep, yep. I mean, you can go with the standard, man. The standard's awesome, you know? Mini Adamas and crew wear. This one's just a tank. This one, this one got abused. If you guys uh, remember that live stream, I talked about this one. I had to clean this one up big time. There's a little bit of wear still on the laser marking uh, from some rust, but the blade was covered in rust. Everything inside and out, this thing was covered and coated and nasty. Um, it's a situation I still am hesitant to talk about the whole thing because I haven't got all my knives back yet. And it's been over two years. So one of the three knives returned in that condition and I got it fixed up. And yeah, people can still sell clones on Blade Binge. So yeah, that's the hard part. What's the best way to get a deep carry clip for my 555 Mini Griptilian? Jeff, you can call up customer service and just tell them you need a new deep carry clip. They might just send you one for free. Um, you can purchase them from them. Or if you have a Benchmade dealer nearby, um, go in and just, hey, man, I need a deep carry clip. You know, take your old one off first and just go in there and go, hey, man, you got a deep carry clip? Because they all have other ones. Yeah, you can order them from Lynch too, 100%. And put that bronze anodized tie deep carry clip on that Adamas. Yeah, from Lynch. Ooh, yeah. Good call, Rob. Good call. And that's that's what I would do. You know, I mean, if you're close, if you're in the Portland metro area and you can go to the Benchmade factory store, just go in there and be like, hey, man, I need to get a deep carry clip on this. And uh, there are customer service that are take care of you. Just saying. And if they don't, just like, hey, I need to page Zach and have Zach come down. They'll, they'll know what's up. Uh, have the auto and crew wear Adamas. Never tried out a manual mini. Yeah, the, the manual minis are nice. Lynch is super legit. If you order the wrong clip, they will send out the right one. Oh, that's cool. That's good to hear. Yeah, those those people at Lynch are awesome. Casey and everybody is fantastic. Um, it's a nice Sunday carry knife. Yeah, 100%. Marty, this PMP has, has your name all over it. <laughs> yeah, there's no protection against fakes there. And that's kind of what you sign up to do when you do blade binge and stuff. It's kind of like eBay. Like you're going off what the seller is, you know, I've seen some sellers with, you know, a hundred positive feedbacks or whatever, 105 and they're selling clones, you know, um, I try to flag some when I see them, but you know, it's 50, 50, whether eBay removes them, you know, and then all they have to do is like in the description where you, some people don't read before they put a bid on it. They'll just put like, it may or may not be legit. I'm not sure. And it's fake. Trust me. Um, selling, selling the green thorn fakes or shiros and whatnot. Oh, that's, that's a bummer. If you send in a bench made for service sharpening, just specify the clip you want on it and they'll put it on. Yep. hundred percent, hundred percent. Send it in for life sharp warranty. They'll take care of it. Put a different clip on it. Um, I would send it in without a clip and then say, Hey, can you put a deep carry clip on it? Just so, and if you want to keep your old clip, just saying. Uh, Tiano, make you a bro deal. Hunk of M390. Ooh, Javon. Got some deals, man. Have a wonderful night, says M-Bomb. One BLT. So that's my thought. See you all soon. I like that. Blade Binge has a pretty good system. It takes the sellers about a week or so to get their funds. And the funds aren't released until after delivery. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, okay. Uh, Mike Jernak says, Zach, I put my, or I put Lynch green Cherokee clip on the Claymore. It's money now. Ooh, that sounds really good, man. Mike, if you got a picture, like, uh, send that to me on Instagram or some, or email me. I'd, I'd love to see the look of that. That's cool. Make a short video tomorrow, says Javon. Nice, nice. <laughs> Palmer says, Javon, no one wants the Titano. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Been seeing a lot of fake Shirogorov sellers. Oh, Stellars. The scary part, it's hard to tell them apart. Yeah. 
I mean, that's the thing. Like, if you're going to spend that much money or if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. You know, um, it's just hard, man. It's hard. You know, a lot of times those communities, though, Ed says, y'all still buying Benchmade? I am. I know many people are. But the hard part is if you're not buying any knife from an actual dealer, then be careful. You know, there was some stuff. There were some problems Blade HQ had uh, probably three, four years ago. People were buying some knives, um, dropping a clone in there and sending it back to get their money back. And then they would keep the original, the legit one from Benchmade. And kind of some shady crap people were doing, but, you know, shady shit. Let's just say how it is. Um, but people are bad out there. So there was, some, there was a couple people that ordered some stuff and they got it. And they're like, this is a fake. And, you know, Blade HQ was really standing behind their product. And then they were like, oh, well, it was an open box. And, you know, so just make sure that stuff's sealed up and all that stuff. And you never know. But yeah, definitely go get hands on with it if you can, especially to see which ones you want. Yeah, exactly, Lou. Yeah, it's just, and it sucks because it ruins it for everybody else, right? Yeah, so, and that, just be careful, you know? So if you get some sort of deal where it's like, you get into that business and you get a box and it's already open, like, man, I would do a video when you unbox it, you know? I mean, it's hard to show already, but, you know, I always try, especially with certain things, because even if it's a Benchmade, you know, they come sealed up with a little sticker uh, on the side. So that should be intact. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Jay Hardesty. Never trust an open box from a retailer. And that's the hard part. You know, you can always ask for another one. You know, I mean, unless you're buying it from Spyderco at Spyderco or from Kershaw at Kershaw or from Benchmade at Benchmade or things like that. Like, if it's an open box, then, you know, ask questions, you know. Chances are it's been switched. And, and yeah, hashtag mean people suck. Exactly, Jeff. And there's legitimate people out there that will get something and send it back, right? And that's legit. Like, they open it up and they're like, you know, just like the Narrows, right? Somebody will get the Narrows and they're like, dude, it just doesn't fit. It's too thin in my hand, you know, create some hot spots maybe down through here or something. And they're like, I just don't like the feel of it um, for the work I'm putting in on it. And they'll send it back and it's returned, you know, and there's some legit things that happen with that, but there's also the bad people. So you only buy direct from the maker. There you go. Yeah. That's the way to resolve it. You know, but I mean, and it's only the, it's only the ones that people really like that are getting faked, right? Cause that's how they're going to make money off of it. Uh, Funland says, if I do buy what is essentially my first bench made, you guys think bug out or tagged out any votes tagged out is that clip point, right? Yeah. The tagged out and I have some tagged out ones. I mean, and it depends on if you're going to go tagged out. What's up? Will be gold class crew member. How are you? It depends on if you're going like the green G 10 with thumb studs on the tagged out, which this one's so solid, you know, in comparison, it's going to be a little more money, but for your first, I mean, you're looking at tagged out right here, you know, get that one going on. Oh, Mike, I, I see that. Thank you. I'll check that out right after the stream. Thank you so much. But the tagged out is legit, man. It's super thin, super slicey. Like this one, like, I mean, just in comparison, I'll show you compared to the bug out, but this tagged out, like it's a lot thinner geometry, right? So, I mean, your tagged out is just going to be, right? You're going to cut that smile, right? Um, and so I love the tagged out for that. You know, you get a bug out. Where's my bug out? Let's just use this one. We'll use this one. Um, you know, it's going to, you, you heard how quiet that was. This one will still do it, but it's just not that big, huge blade, right? Let me see if I can do it on this edge. Whew. It's so nice. I mean, edge geometry is king, and the tagged out has it, you know? They're also using that, you know, select edge on those when they send them out of the factory, so... 
I think they're running the tagged outs at the 17 degrees. Um, the meat crafters at the 14. Some of the kitchen uh, cutlery as well. Zank ha Zach has planted seeds and I will be breaking bad. And fucking all retailers, brilliant. <laughs> oh, Javon. I prefer the overall blade and neutral handle shape of the bug out to the tagged out. Yeah, and that's, that's the only other thing, right? You got, you know, obviously size in comparison. It's going to be smaller, the bug out is, you know, and how it goes in the pocket, how you operate it. You know, no thumb studs on the basic model. Um, you get the upgraded model with the G10. You're going to get the thumb studs on it. You know, all have the access lock. Bug out's going to be a little thinner, just a smidge in width on the scales but it all depends what you do you know you guys have seen i got those aftermarket tagged out scales from rogue and they're amazing you know i got the ones from flytanium as well the g10 um those are amazing as well so i was hesitant with the narrows at first just in hand after cutting food i needed tagged out yeah tagged outs are nice pocket razor says this is my personal favorite right here benchmade check it out i love that Tagged out is buttery smooth. Yeah, it's nice. Let me get it. That says Zach. Tell Benchmade to make a bug out worn cliff and call it the worn out. Ooh, I like that. I've also heard about the XL. You know, do the little bit bigger one. Kind of get into that tagged out area of size of handle, size of blade. I think that would be a home run. You know. I like slicey for a smaller knife. If not slicey, then I'm doing hard work with it and want a bigger knife. Yeah, and this is kind of your, you know, they, they created this with, like, the idea of um, hunting, camping, hiking, you know, involved. That's why they came out with it at first, especially with the orange scales. You know, they have the carbon fiber one with the orange blade as well. Um, but super easy to actuate with just even the access lock. If I hold the access lock down to close it. Um, you know, but, yeah, don't get your fingers in there because you will get got with that. Let me get that. I have a bug out that gets carried every day, so I have to say bug out. Yeah, I like the – I literally like these Svelte scale ones have been in my pocket for the last two weeks just because I love the feel of this upgraded handle. And it does sit a little deeper in the pocket, which is nice because the, the standard mini deep carry, when I carry my secondary, which is usually a bug out or similar size knife, um, sometimes it gets bumped on things and pops up a little bit in the pocket, but since the svelte ones sit a little deeper, it hasn't done that. I don't know why, but just a little deeper makes it all better. Laid the edge on the M4 blade to 15 TPS and it's incredible as well. Ooh, there you go. That's good. That's good. Yep. They're both very sharp. I like that. All right. Well, We've been rolling for a bit now. I have it tagged out. I'm opening to trading. Ooh, there you go. Somebody wants it tagged out. El Cap is open to trading. Send them a message. Just due to hand size, I like at least 3.5 blades best. I carried the carbon fiber tagged out today. New night. Oh, nice, JR. Connor Hughes. Holy, did not expect to see a live stream right now. What's up, Connor? Welcome in. Uh, don't normally like colored blades, but the red with black carbon fiber looks sweet and slightly ominous like Darth Vader's lightsaber. But I like that. Marty, why do you call yours a butt out and why is the lanyard so long? <laughs> uh, open the trades, open the trades. There you go. There you go. I like that. Oh, it, pocket razor says El Cap hit me up on the tagged out brother. Ooh, there you go. Ooh, we got a connection. Woo! Got a connection made. A knife connection. A knife trade connection. I like that orange one. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. All right, so we got a swag pack. We got some Slick'em All. I'm going to put in a bunch more swag. Um, and I'm also going to put in a couple other little things. So don't forget tomorrow, or if you're already into Sunday, noon Pacific, 3 Eastern, 2 Central, uh, my normal live, let's talk knives. We're going to do that. Sunday, fun day. Zach, bringing people together. Yep. What's that guy? What's that host on that one show from back in the day? 
I can't remember his name, but it's good. We should do that. Have a little side series, the little like jingle, you know, it'll be my chair making the noise. A little jingle. Rear, rear. All right. All right. We'll get rid of this. We need to get over to Javon. So let's do a quick little giveaway for the swag, the slick them all and some other fun stuff that I'm going to now put together and put in there while I'm over on Javon's live stream. Um, no, not Mr. Rogers. You know, the guy that was like love connection. I think it was, was it love connection? Kind of the game show host guy. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for L cap and pocket razors making that knife trade connection. Chuck Woolery. Yeah. Yeah. Chuck Woolery. <laughs> yeah. Back in two and two, two and two, everybody, two and two, we will be back, but we need some like good jingle music with it. No, not the Jeopardy one. Congratulations, El Cap and Pocket Razors for making the knife connection. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go with something like that. <laughs> There's got to be some cool music in there for that. Art link letter. <laughs> suck them all sweet like M-bomb jerky. Bits suck. <laughs> Tell Stevie yeah, I said that. <laughs> jerky bits suck. That's what he was trying to say. I got you. I got you. All right. Well, let's see here. We can do the giveaway access, right? Or is it this one? That sounds too bad. Yeah, Chuck Willard. We'll be back in two and two, ladies and gentlemen. EDC game show series coming right up. Ooh, I like that. I like that. All right. So we'll do a quick numbers game just for the swag pack giveaway. Something real simple, something cool. Chuck Woolery. Yeah. I'm not sure what a tagged out cost. My 8015 or my Wii Esprit may be close, but they're absolute favorites. Matter of fact, says we're doing 37 out the gate already. We're going to put some numbers on here. Giveaway rules. One guess, one guess only. Close without going over. This one is international friendly because there's not a knife in the giveaway. So we can send that worldwide. Well, almost worldwide. But you know what I'm saying. But <laughs> we're going to do the numbers game. Closest without going over. One guess, one guess only. Ties go to second round. And, of course, my screen, my moderator screen is final. All right. I live in the moon. Is that a problem? I think Elon can help us get that accomplished. Thank you, Mass Faction, for putting that up there. One guess only, one account only, international friendly. Ed Harrison says 3769420. All right, so we got it here. We're going to put this under the slick em all. Got that going right there. Doo -doo -doo. Now, I do have the other stuff coming in for the chair, like I said. And of course, um, I will have the new stuff hopefully within the next two weeks, it looks like from the order. But we'll go from there. And I will have a dump video showing that the chair is going to be dumped. So um, so as soon as we see a start on the screen from one of the moderators, uh, we will go ahead and let you guess. One guess, one guess only. Close without going over. Ties go to second round. There's a start from Satisfaction right there. Ooh, your range is 300 to 425. 300 to 425. One guess, one guess only. Closest without going over. Ties go to second round international friendly today on this one and thank you all for being here it's a fun little live stream a little chat a little ask some questions we got a knife connection that came out of it fun times all across the board i love it i love it now this is when i need that like you know music songs because you know you get into that thing where if you play too much i can cover a song but i can't like play a song so unless i find some i might be able to find some good like copyright free music but i think i have to subscribe to a subscription for that subscribe to a subscription get a subscription to one of those fun websites for that miss koozie miss 
I put it before it had come up on the stream, <laughs> says Connor. <laughs> so your range is 300 to 425. Kathleen, your guess is a little too low, or maybe it's missing a digit. Just saying, just saying. And I can't even remember what I put on there, but I think... Let me see if anybody's got close. Oh, you guys are you guys are moving across the whole spread. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. That's good. So we'll get this all packed up. I have a few things going out already. Um, for the people that uh, Marshall graciously donated the Moras to, the runners up last week. So those are all packed up. I sent them their stuff. It's got shipped out, so that's good. Um, so that should be there. They went out priority, so they should probably be there like by Tuesday at the latest, maybe. So that's good. That's good. 417 for some international person, says T-Fetch. That's not, very nice of you. Very nice of you. It's a random international person. Are you international? Who's international? Yes, Marshall Law 123 is a DSKFS master, 100%. So Marshall, thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for doing that. That is really, really kind. He always he always gives some Mora to the runners up, which is really cool on our normal giveaways. Very, very cool, cool action of him. All right. Got my Mora yesterday. Oh, nice, Addicted to Blades. Right on, right on, man. That's so cool. And I know you're going to put that to the test too, so that's good. Pedro's playing for Todd Carr. So is Will. Nice, nice. All right, so let's go ahead, Maddie. We'll give it another 10, 15 seconds. Whenever you drop the old stop or some stop signs in there, we will check out and see. There it is right there. The stop is up. Said, oops. It's all good. Josh, you were right in there. You put 304. The spread's 300 to 425. So you're within the range. <laughs> all right. Let's see who the winner is. We got, oh, I sticky the wrong part again. That's half the fun. All right, 300 to 425, 367 is going to be the winner. Closest without going over. Let's go back and see who is the closest or if anybody nailed it right on. So we got a 357 from Douglas. We got a anything closer than 357. Let's go check. Let's go check. Oh, Ed hit it right on the numbers with 367. So we're going to have to see if there's anybody else that hit it right on with Ed coming in hot. Looks like maybe Sharp Guy as well. So let's look through. Looking for 367. 367. Sharp Guy ATX. We're going to have a round two. Ooh, so awesome, so awesome. Anybody else added to the round two? Let's double check, let's double check. I think it's going to be Sharp Guy and Ed, both hitting it. Woo! All right, so we'll do a round two for the two of you. Um, and the, the second place person, you're going to get, I got a Mora here for you as well from Marshall already. So the runner up, if you're US, you may get a Mora. I'm just saying. Or maybe we'll put it into the winner. Uh, or maybe we'll grab two. I don't know. I might have two more as we'll see. Uh, remove the clothes. Prepare for the oil, says Manisfaction. I stick the wrong part again is a good Zach quote. <laughs> Sticky the wrong part. Yeah, exactly. I think Michael, Michael Morgan might uh, clip that, definitely. All right, so round two for Ed and Sharp Guy ATX. I'm going to do a guess for you guys. And it's just going to be closest. doesn't matter if it's over or under. Uh, we will say 70 to 90. 70 to 90. So one guess from Ed, one guess from Sharp Guy ATX. 70 to 90. And it's on this paper. And we'll see who's the closest. Round two, only Sharp Guy and Ed can enter. One guess, one guess only. It doesn't matter if you're over or under. This one's just closest for Ed and Sharp Guy ATX. Let's go. Round two. Fight. Ed says 76. Ed says 76. And Sharp Guy ATX says 85. 76 and 85. 
There you go. Closest to 77 was my awesomeness. So, Ed, congratulations. You are closest. And Sharp Guy, you are the runner-up winner. So we have definitely Ed. Send me an email. Also, SharpGuyATX, send me an email. Zach.edc at gmail.com. And we will get you guys your winnings shipped out. And now, obviously, that will be like Monday it'll go out. So because the post office doesn't like to send stuff on Sundays. Unless it's Amazon and they get paid for it. Thank you, Pocket Razors, for putting that up there as well. Thank you guys so much. Now, if somebody could link Javon's Netflix on here, we're going to all head over to Javon's channel. And we're going to continue this awesome journey of live stream tonight. Uh, it just crested midnight here on the West Coast. And I know so many of you are up. Pocket Razors just linked it. Thank you guys so much. Congratulations to Ed. Congratulations to Sharp Guy ATX. We'll get all this stuff put out to you. And, of course, you'll both be getting a swag pack, so don't worry about that. We'll get you guys some swag. We'll get you dialed in. And, of course, we'll throw in some other stuff, just depending on where you live. You know what I'm saying? So it's all good. All right, you guys. Thank you all so much. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for joining me in tonight. Thank you for the donated memberships and the super chats tonight. That all goes in. We're going to have a fun giveaway here at noon, so 12 hours from now. Be there. Be square. Don't forget all the other live streams that are going on. KnifeTubeSchedule.com. Check it out. Thank you to my moderators for being here. You guys are awesome. You guys rock. And, of course, the biggest thing, do something kind for someone. Hashtag DSKFS. And we got – oh, hold on. Can I DSKFS my winnings to Josh B? Please, that moro would be cool for Caden. Yeah, Sharp Guy, just send me an email. And then Josh B, send me an email as well. Uh, we'll get it worked out. As long as I get the email set up uh, with addresses and names and all that, that is really kind of you to do that, Sharp Guy ATX. And we'll get that going 100%. So really, really cool, you guys. And we will see you on Javon's in just a few minutes. And Javon, thank you so much for your kindness and sending people over. And we will write back at you in just a couple minutes. All right, you guys, have an awesome rest of your day or your evening or your early, early morning. Most importantly, you guys and gals, take care.